What we're going to do is we're going to go into new again and new again. We're going to show you open project and an open project actually calls up the templates that we've created for you. Now some of these are blank, some of them are filled in. The point is these are specifically designed for the uh, output of your printer. Okay, if you have trouble finding the templates, they're actually under documents and then templates. So it'll be very simple to, uh, to find. In this case, we're going to pull up a three foot uh, banner, three foot poster, apologize, and you can select open. And what we have here is our car wash. And again, it operates or we can create the exact same way that we did before. Just select the verbiage that we want to change, double click and we can add the car wash it is actually today and oop, we want to capitalize that hit OK and there we go we have car wash today very simple to do and if you want to um, with any of the templates with any of the things that you've created you can go into file you can go to save as and what this is is this will save it save your poster however you choose to shape save your banner however you choose to and you'll be able to call it up again in uh, the template area it'll be actually stored in the template area very simple very easy now um, just real brief I just want to go over and just show you the different areas or the different things that are uh, around that you can choose from um, you have here obviously calendars daily weekly whatever it is that you want to pull up there it is you can change dates change any information so if you want to make uh, big posters or or you know even banners like that you can do that uh, photo frames uh, where you can choose borders of different uh, things you can incorporate very easily here we have the graphics you can pull this up from the library from files from the scanner that we talked about before different shapes lines rectangles things like that body text that's the uh, simple, um, if you happen to have, you want to separate it out, um, you can actually have different um, text styles and, and, uh, for your posters. Uh, and then uh, title text um, that you can pull up and you can enter and go from there. Uh, on the top, of course, new and open and save and copy. And these are all pretty basic. Um, and then you can have different headings, file, edit, view. These are things that uh, eventually you'll get used to as you use this. Again, a very, very simple software, no big deal. Now, here's what we're uh, at, and uh, at this stage, we're going to go into uh, the print menu. And the print menu actually becomes a little bit more uh, complicated, only because, again, everything has to be converted to our poster or our banner sizes. Again, we're working with a 24-inch roll or a 36-inch roll, and we have to be able to convert and make sure everything prints properly for it. So select print and we want to make sure that we have the right printer which obviously we do and we're going to go into properties and in properties what we're going to do is we can um, make a number of different selections and which we're going to show you right now and um, we'll go from there. Uh, the designs created, it's time to print. Um, here's what we're going to do is we're, we're going to select our settings here we are with this, the current setting. Uh, select poster uh, if that's what we're creating. Um, these are si these are um, uh, saved uh, designs or saved sizes that we've already created. I'm going to show you those. That's pretty easy. The poster uh, chroma saturation. That's going to be your choice if you wanted to. You wanted to go to photo highest quality, and others give you uh, different uh, selections too. Poster chroma saturation. We've got that. We're going to select the different types of paper. We can go in and do plain paper. In this case, we're going to do matte, which is a, a single weight paper. All depends on the quality of the different types of paper that you're using. You want to select these so that the printer knows how much actual ink to lay down. Uh, we're working with the roll paper. If we selected acquire information, any information that you may have input into your printer to begin with, when your printer says, okay, what size roll, what's the length, what's the uh, type of paper uh, this program can actually acquire that information directly from the printer um, paper size but <clears throat> again we have different templates that we've created um, you can call up the different sizes um, yours may not include all these 
but uh, you can actually save them. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you can work with, if you pull up any of these, you'll notice they have different sizes, A series, these are millimeter, um, these are different sizes again. The arch is what we're actually looking for. We're looking for a 24 by 36 inch uh, output size. Everything's going to be fit to roll paper with, which is going to work with. Now, if we go into custom paper size, this is the area that we can actually select and we can say, look, we're working with a three foot by uh, four foot, uh, three foot, I apologize, a 24 inch by 36 inch uh, poster. Just try, type 24 by 36 and we've got what we want and um, what will happen is we've got our paper with size. We can change this to 36 inch, which we've done. We want to make sure the inches are there. We want to save it and there it is. Hit OK. Now what that means is the next time that you want to make a poster that size, all you have to do is go into custom, select 24 by 36, 24 by 36. We're all set up for this. Hit OK. All right, fantastic. Now what we're going to do is just to point these things out for you. Um, color black and white, we want to do that. Uh, business graphics, you can do the different types of selections here call for the amount of ink that's going to be laid down, line, line drawing, um, compatible. Business graphics is pretty much where you want to be. Okay, um, Your speed will be reflected here depending on what you're working on. 720 by 720, there's even a 360 by 720. That'll be called up uh, separately when, uh, when you're hooked up directly to your computer. Another interesting area here, uh, high speed, that kind of thing, that's pretty basic. Uh, you'll notice that there are graphics showing you exactly what your posters are going to be looking like. So for instance, this is 24 by 36. This shows you what the output is going to be looking like. Again, we're fit to roll width. If we change this and we made this an 18 inch width, what it'll do is it'll show here, the graphic will show that you've got excess paper on the side. Uh, we're going to go into layout. In layout, we have portrait, landscape, rotate 180. I'm going to show you this. Here it is in landscape, it changed that. It also changed the way this looks. Go back and look at it real quick. See that? Landscape. We can, in portrait, we can change, rotate 180 degrees. So watch what happens. See how this is upside down now? Now it's coming out right side. So that's pretty interesting. You can play around with that as well. Uh, fit to pull fit to uh, roll paper width is kind of basic. Uh, we don't need to change the size because we've already done that. In advance, uh, this is kind of nice. We can hit, uh, we can take the cutter off. So if you wanted to just print something and have a cut, it can. You can uh, turn it off right there. You can hit auto, rotate, print, banner, different things like that. Most of these things we've already selected in our uh, basic uh, printer settings. So these are things that are probably not going to be uh, necessary for you. In utility, again, this is a uh, maintenance menu type situation that if you want to operate these things directly from the program, you can do that. I recommend working it directly from the uh, printer. Go back into printer settings. We're all set. Just hit OK. If you want, you can preview whatever you want to preview. Go from there. That'll show you exactly what you've created. Again, the width of 36, 24, pages are 1, 100%. We're all set to go with this. And just hit print and go from there. So pretty easy program. It'll take a little bit. The operation of the program itself is not a big deal. But once you get a, a, a better understanding of uh, how the print settings work, I think it'll be pretty easy for you. It's a, a very short learning curve, nothing too tough. And as always, anytime that you have questions, you're always most welcome to give us a call. We've got an 800 number. Uh, and uh, we want you to call us. That way, uh, if you have problems, we can easily rectify them instead of uh, you living with what's going on. Thanks again for uh, watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.